Roy Moore is the worst. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that. Um, and of course, he affiliates himself with other hell demon swamp orcs. And we're gonna point out just one of them. Um, Talking Points memo reports on one donor who's particularly terrible. That's making news. Um, Michael Anthony Perutka or Peroutka. Um, and there he is on the right. He and Roy Moore is on the left. Uh, he said, according to Talking Points memo, Michael Anthony Perotka has given uh, Moore his foundation and campaigns well over half a million dollars over the past decade plus. Who is Michael Anthony Perotka? Um, he's argued that more uh, Christ, that the more Christian South needs to secede from a new biblical and form a new biblical nation. Uh, he spent years on the board of the Alabama-based League of the uh, South, a Southern secessionist group, which for years has called for a uh, Southern nation run by an Anglo-Celtic elite. Southern Poverty Law Center says that this uh, organization is a hate group. Perutka jokes about that. Um, they also, that group, he's no longer on the board of it, but since then they did. They were uh, one of the groups that organized the Charlottesville protests. Um, their leader, Michael Hill, or wants to organize a Southern Defense Force militia for guerrilla war. Uh, and he's attacked uh, organized Jewry, of which I am part of them. We're very organized. <laughs> um, so yeah, is it any surprise that Roy Moore affiliates himself with these kinds of folks? Are we up to date on the Roy Moore uh, senatorial race? Alabama. Alabama. I take him at a lot word. of good people. I, down I don't there. think he knew that they were. Uh, <laughs> I thought he thought that they just really cared about their heritage or whatever. And, uh, I don't think he knows anything. I don't. I don't see a racist bone in his white body. I don't. See, do you? Yeah. No. Not at all. Especially. Um, let's see. What else? We got some greatest hits. Uh, you want to see uh, Perutka in action? I do. Yes. He said he was going to sing the national anthem. The national anthem. The national the United, anthem was he in the United States of the United said? States of oh, America? Okay. And so this is, we'll play video four of, of of what happened after he said that. I ask you to stay for the national anthem, please. We shall was in the land. I can't look away. I kind of had to because there was a man who stood up. There was, yeah. yeah, we were looking at someone's back. So, again, I don't, well, I do get it. Uh, it's called cognitive dissonance. You learn how to practice cognitive dissonance if you grow up religious, like I did. And uh, so that's what, that's what that is because they're up, upset at Colin Kaepernick for uh, doing a silent, respectful protest over a real social issue. And they, they say it disrespects the flag and the national anthem. But here, this guy is actually singing a song of the tra a traitor, right? That's a traitor song of wanting to overthrow our country. They have, a count, they have a flag, the Confederate flag that they wave all the time. So again, this is cognitive dissonance. This is beautiful uh, to show you the uh, who these people really are. That's who they really are. They're uh, traitors to America. So white supremacists are traitors to America, just like that guy is. And uh, that's all this is about, people who are traitors to America. And there's no doubt about it. You, you say, stand for the national anthem, and you sing a song of a, a group of people who wanted to overthrow our government. What do you call that? That's like ISIS. Yeah, it, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of exactly where I went with it. Because as I read this article, it kept coming back to religion and how they want to change our government so it's more religious. and. Just you put the quote up there before where they called for a southern nation run by the Anglo Celtic elite. And when you look at what ISIS is trying to do, they're trying to create their own government. Mm -hmm. This is religious based. And it's like that's that's what Ray Moore is trying to do. Yeah. With it, his half a million bucks from from his yeah, really he, crazy friend. He's received six hundred and twenty two thousand dollars since two thousand four, forty five thousand dollars for his two gubernatorial runs. Moore has received from Perutka. Um, $143,000 for Moore's Supreme Court comeback. Um, uh, this guy, here's one quote um, he said, I come from Maryland, which by the way is below the Mason-Dixon line. We'd have seceded if they hadn't locked up 51 members of the legislature. By the way, I'm still angry about that. And then uh, to Jen's point, he wrote, of course, he said, of course the South is, a, is this remnant of a Christian understanding of law and government where there is a God and government is God ordained. 
if a Muslim person said that, he would call for him to be hung up. Uh, that stands right in the way of this pagan understanding that the state, the new world order is God, uh, warning that seculars were out there to destroy the, the, the South. Here is, I mean, my favorite thing, he also, Roy Moore was kicked out of the um, Supreme Court of the state of Alabama because, not because he erected a um, giant 10 commandments monument in the, in the courthouse. But because a court said you need to take that down because separation of church and state, you just can't have that there. And he said no. And so he got kicked out. Um, Perutka built a replica of the Ten Commandments, according to Talking Points Memo, um, on his land, renamed the field where he put that Roy Moore Field. Um, he's made anti abortion, anti gay, uh, and Confederate monuments don uh, donations. And then this random ass fact about Perutka, he gave $1 million, according to Talking Points Memo, for a museum to the fossilized skeleton of an Allosaurus named Ebenezer. What is an Allosaurus? It's like a scary looking Velociraptor. So it's a- Velociraptors ah, aren't scary. But it's got more teeth. So it's a dinosaur? It looks like a giant dinosaur, a giant crocodile dinosaur. So they believe in dinosaurs? I've been to that museum, by the way. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I haven't, and they follow you around to make sure you're not laughing. <laughs> they do, and to make sure you're not poking fun in front of other people, because they were on us. They knew what we were there for. We smelled, <laughs> we smelled like weed, That's so they knew what we were doing. Yeah, I went there. I was working in Cincinnati in John Boehner's district telling jokes, and you can drive right over, so we did. Oh, wow. That's Just. Awesome. I would not want to be high at a dinosaur museum. That's the most terrifying thing. You know what? It was sadder than I expected because I didn't realize that people would bring, there would be other people there with their children. children. And they're bringing their kids in there. And I'm just like, oh, I feel like they're doing child abuse to them, which they are because they're misinforming their kids. They're oh. anti sciencing their own kids, yeah. they're teaching their kids to do cognitive dissonance. And yeah. you just want to go over and go, no, 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 this isn't science. So this, this is, is a bunch of crazy people like ISIS and Al Qaeda, except they're white and they live in this country. So wait, this is a museum that uh, there's, they have dinosaurs and they say they were created by God. Yeah, okay. that, 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 that man, that, one. that Adam and Eve lived with dinosaurs. Gotcha, okay. Before we wrap up, we're gonna show some things that Roy Moore put up on Facebook or shared. One was wanna stop riots and he shows, um, you know, black people on a car says, um, play the national anthem, they'll all sit down. But what they didn't show is that the cop just shot six unarmed black guys <laughs> before they jumped on the car. Uh, and then this next- And they had a recording of them saying, we're gonna shoot those unarmed motherfuckers, <laughs> but we didn't mean it. Yeah, <laughs> there's another one. Uh, this is, uh, would, the suppressed mil what, would the suppressed millionaire NFL quarterback who would not stand for the national anthem, please point out which of these guys are black so we can remove the offensive flag. This oh, is Roy Moore. God. This is the stuff that he says. He says reds, yellow, reds and yellows are fighting each other. It's a reference to like an old Christian song, but he talks about different races as being red and yellow, the least terrible thing. So that's using dead soldiers to, uh, I don't know, to further your racism. That's, yeah. what, that's, that's what that is. Yeah. Because, because for, apparently if, if, if you're black and poor, you're not allowed to protest. And if you're black and rich, you're not allowed to protest. You're just not allowed to protest if you're black. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Other things that- But he can sing the land of Dixie and be, but, that, but that's yeah. bad. Right, so yeah. he doesn't have any problem with the Confederate flag. Doesn't have any problem with singing the pretend national anthem of the of the group of people who want to overthrow this. The actual secessionists. In fact, they have secessionist parties every year, don't they? Yeah, I yes. Well, and their goal very clearly when they talk about all these people in this social network of Roy Moore's, they want to remake our government as a religious government. Yes, which really concerns me because they're saying that the government we have is beyond repair, which I think. Where I watch so much Congress, I'm seeing it play out in real time where you have these religious people that are, they're aiming to dismantle our government. It's like that is the first step to getting this brand new government that they can, you know, make it be around Jesus or whatever they're trying to do, because they want a biblical worldview and apply it to civil law and government. And so it all kind of makes sense. We're just gonna have one more of these really religious people in our government with more than a tad of racism attached to this guy. Yeah. But when I look at the big picture, I mean, we have a problem in this country of religion and government. Like, I think we need to address the religion problem in our legislature right now. And he would just be another one that would be voting biblically instead of what's better for society. Help us build independent media together, tytnetwork.com slash join.